Hello, in this video, I would like to go over our canvas. You can see that I log into my canvas Lemoyne account and you can see I click on ANL 601-50, which is our course. And the first thing I would like to talk about here is the home tab. When you click on it, you will see at the very top says my OM lab registration. Here you can see the instructions if you click on this PDF to see how to register for my OM lab, which, which is part of our textbook and all your homework assignments and uh, exam questions will be delivered in this my OM lab system. So make sure that you register for my OM lab. The second part here, you can see that I recorded YouTube videos for this class. So if you can click on this link and you can go to YouTube and there are a series of videos that you can watch uh, for each module. I structured this class in five modules. So module one is introduction to supply chain management. In this uh, module, I have two different chapters. First chapter from your textbook you can see here is operations management introduction, which is the first chapter in your textbook. Then the second chapter in this module is chapter 11 from your textbook. It is supply chain management introduction. And also I would like to play a supply chain management game in this module. And you, you can see some other resources that can be beneficial for you for this module. Once we finish the module number one, the second module will be focusing on distribution networks. And you can see here also I have uh, two different chapters from your textbook. One of them is chapter C, how it's an appendix, transportation modeling. You can see the PDF file here, you can click on it. And when you click on the PDF files, you will see that they are not filled because I would like to go through those in my videos and also in classroom. So make sure that you can download this, you can write on it on your screen or uh, print it and write it on a piece of paper. And uh, we will have some Excel exercise as well to show you how to model certain problems. In this case, transportation problem we will cover. And uh, you can see the second chapter from your textbook is gonna be chapter eight, which is location. And it's a PDF file here if you wanna look at it. And as I told you, there are some other resources that might be beneficial for you. If you want to see them, you can click over here and you will see those uh, extra resources. And there are some more modeling exercises here that you can see I gave you data files in Excel form. The third module is the production module. And you can see here that we have two different chapters. Chapter module B or appendix B from your textbook is called product mix problem. And also chapter three from your textbook called project management. And also I have extra resources here and you can see that I have three different Excel files for you to work on. Module number four is inventory management. And this is chapter 12 in your textbook. And I will have some Excel files here as well uh, during the class. Finally, the last module is forecasting and we will cover demand forecasting. And you can see the uh, forecasting uh, PDF file, which is chapter four from your textbook. And I'm, I will be showing you some extra videos that are, I have recorded. And you can see the uh, video files here. And we will have some games again. And uh, this is what I have under home module. Basically everything related to class materials will be under home tab. Sometimes I will make some announcements and you will see that, for example, uh, welcome to this course and you can see that how to access my OM lab. By default, unless you change the settings, you will be able to get emails every time I create an announcements and assignments and discussions. If you don't, please check your settings to make sure that those push notifications are open enable so that you will receive those emails every time I create announcement, assignments, or discussions. And you can see under assignments tab, basically everything in this class will be under assignments in terms of graded work. Uh, and also I have some no grade assignments. These are more like watch this video, read this chapter kind of thing. And I'm not gonna grade them, but I would like to give those assignments so that you can get more familiar with the class topics. Uh, 
the, the homework assignments will be 25% of our class and they will be listed here. And as I told you, so many of these homework assignments via my OM lab, I will still create the assignment here and say, hey, go to my OM lab to be able to complete the homework assignment. Same thing for the midterm. Again, 25% of your grade will be midterm and the midterm date is announced in my syllabus. Again, when the midterm is available, I will make an announcement here. And uh, if I give the midterm assignment from my OM lab, you will see that, hey, go to my OM lab and do it. Final exam is similar, again, 25%. And finally, term paper, you will analyze a company and write a paper about it. And that's also 25%. So 25%, for each type of assignments. Again, all the assignments will be listed here throughout the semester. On the discussions, I, I would like to post things that you can make some um, post, post here so that we can help one another throughout this class. One of them is here. You can see that Lemon Virtual Computer Access. If you need to use the Lemon Virtual Computer, you can see the steps here. And uh, you can see that Office Hours that will be via Zoom. You can see the Zoom details in this. Uh, discussion part. And you can see that we will have the class in hybrid format, means that some students will be in class, some people will be uh, joining us via Zoom. So make sure that you get the Zoom details here. Again, if you have any questions about any of these, you can always comment and ask questions and me or other students will help you to answer those questions. Your grades will be available right here. You can see other people here in the classroom by clicking on people and you can reach out to them by finding them. Uh, if you click on syllabus, you can click right here and you can see the details of my syllabus. And I will be recording my classes via Zoom and I will enable them in my media area. So you, when you go to uh, media gallery, you should be able to see all the recorded videos. Uh, again, once again, if you want to change any settings, you can click on settings. And here you can go with navigation. You can eliminate certain things by dragging them down or enable certain features by dragging them up. And uh, you can see different uh, settings here that if you need to work on. I think that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. And until next video, enjoy supply chain management.